Warning, Uncle Adam is not a professional. He's usually not even very good. Try any and all of Uncle Adam's pro tips at your own risk. Void where prohibited, Uncle Adam is not actually an uncle. So how many of you out there like to put your figures into some sort of protection? Protection is important. Don't let, anyone, don't let anyone tell you differently. Protection is always important. So a lot of people out there who play miniatures games, they like to go and get custom foam cut for their particular miniatures. And there are plenty of manufacturers out there that make this custom, I'm assuming it's with lasers, this custom cut foam for protecting their miniatures. But most of those manufacturers also make something that's a bit cheaper and sometimes a bit more useful to people, and that's called pick and pluck. You may not be able to see it here, but as I pull, you can kind of see that there are little kind of like, it's perforated, it's pre-perforated. So what you do is you pull out the pieces that you want and then you put them, uh, put, you know, you use that shape to protect whatever thing you're going to put in there. And in models, in this kind of stuff that we like to play with the miniatures, then you, you would figure out, you know, okay, I need to make this shape to fit this guy. And then I would peel and then, but the thing is, is it's difficult to peel this foam when the guy is on it, but it's difficult to know where to peel if the guy is not on it. So what do you do? How do you do it? Well, here's your pro tip. Um, in England, I think they're called cocktail sticks. Around here, we call them toothpicks. And you can use them to pick things out of your teeth, like corn or whatever. And um, these are what you need to make it so that you can figure out what you're gonna do and what you're gonna pluck for these things to make custom shapes. So what you do is you lay your figure down there and then you've got your area and you find a corner, like the corner you wanna start with, and you just put a piece of, uh, you know, a, a piece of a, a toothpick right there into it. And then you just kind of trace around them. You have to sort of follow where the little blocks of foam go, but you put one down there and then one maybe over here. I've got a box of toothpicks. So you look for the corners. You kind of peel back with your finger, sort of peel back, and then you put down the corners. And you just do that one after another, and then you make the shape. Then you take him out of there, and then you just start peeling the pieces out. You grab a piece, and you peel it, and you pull it out, and then you're done. So you can make a very complex shape with these toothpicks without this guy being in there to show you what the complex shape is. And then you can protect not just miniatures and things like that. This is a Golem Arcana miniature, by the way. Uh, I learned this actually from photography. You know, you buy a camera and they're weird shaped and you want to protect it in one of these cases. So you lay the camera down there and then you put your toothpicks, draw the shape around it where the corners are going to be that you're going to cut, peel it all out and you're all set. Plus you get to reuse the toothpicks.